think I got it. Good afternoon. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry, and today I am going to make a quick, easy, delicious dessert. It's going to be made. It's going to be no sugar added, and I'm calling it a banana split dessert. Now, the way you make it, if you uh, if you eat sugar, is you put cake in it, either a uh, pound cake or a uh, angel food cake, you cut it up in little cubes, and I'm gonna layer this, and you will put it in layers. But since I don't do sugar, then I'm making it just <clears throat> with no sugar added, and I'm not gonna put the cake in it. And I make it like this quite often, and it's really, really good. So I've got one pack of cheesecake, sugar-free, jello mix, pudding mix, and I've got one of sugar-free vanilla. So I'm mixing the two. And in this bowl, I'm putting four cups of milk. You can use skim milk, you can use fat-free milk, whatever milk you, you want to use. So I'm gonna put both packs in here at one time. And each pack calls for two cups of milk. together really good. It's going to take it a minute or so. And typically in your uh, banana split uh, trifle uh, dessert, layer dessert, it calls for strawberries, bananas, blueberries, or what I put in mine, and a uh, crushed pineapple or pineapple tidbit. But today, I didn't have any, I mean, I did have it, but I wanted to change it up a little bit, so I'm putting fruit cocktail in 100% juice. So there's no sugar added to it. It's just what is in the, uh, what is in the fruit itself. Okay. I'm gonna just stir this up. Keep whisking. You don't even need a hand mixer for this. You don't need a stand mixer or anything. You can just use your whisk, and it's gonna be done before you know it. See, it's already getting really, really thick, okay? This is so good in the summertime. Whisk it really well now, because, uh, well, some of mine had little knots in it, so. I'm having to really whisk it good to get those knots out. Okay, it's getting real thick. Okay, and I'm only gonna put two layers in this. And on my bottom layer, I'll put half of it. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut up banana, and I'm gonna put banana on it. Now this is where I would put my cake. I would cut it in little bite-sized cubes, and I would put it down now. Okay. And I forgot to get my Cool Whip out, because this is gonna have Cool Whip on it. All right. That wasn't a whole banana. That was part of the banana. Now, let me get another spoon. Now, to this, I'm gonna add a layer of my fruit cocktail. Okay, then I'm gonna add a layer of strawberries. Now, these are some strawberries. Y'all have been sending me uh, picked strawberries out of the garden. And I put them in a uh, container last night and put some uh, stevia over them. So they do have a little sweetener on them, these do. All right, let me get my cool whip. And this is zero sugar added cool whip. Sometimes these little bands are hard to get off. I don't want to cut myself. 
There we go. Now, I've just bought this, so I hope it's not frozen. But it may be. We'll see. Okay. Alright. Now goes my Cool Whip. It is kind of frozen. But I'll work with it. I'm only going to use one 8 ounce carton in this whole thing. I use half of it for the first layer, half of it for the second layer. Okay. I wish it was thawed out a little bit more, but that'll be all right. Trying to get it in layers, but it's hard with this frozen uh, cool whip. Let me see if I can do it with a knife. Okay. Alright, that's as good as I'm gonna get it with uh with it being <clears throat> kind of frozen. Now my next layer is going to be my pudding again. And as you can see, it's already gotten thick and turned into pudding. So. And y'all, this is so good and so refreshing in the summertime. It's delicious. I use that word delicious a lot. But hey, I love food. <laughs> and I think food is delicious. So, okay. Just spread that around. And this, uh... Now, again, if you were using the cake, you would put the cake right on top of this pudding right here. Okay. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to put my banana. If you know, when you get a banana split at the Dairy Queen or somewhere, it's usually got strawberries. Uh, pineapple and banana. It's got your banana. Oh, I haven't had one of those in years and years, and I won't eat one up. Eat one for years and years because <laughs> they are really, really got a lot of calories and carbs in them. But you lay your banana down, then you put your ice cream, and then you put your. Uh, let's see. My mama worked at Dairy Queen when I was uh when I was growing up, so. So I used to go to, in the summertime, I'd go to work with her, and I'd get to make the ice cream sandwiches, I'd get to help her make the dilly bars, the buster bars, uh, and I would watch her make the banana splits and the sundaes and all that, so uh, that was a treat. Okay, now I'm going to put my... cocktail down now I'm just going to pour that juice because it was just a little bit I had drained my fruit cocktail okay now I'm just going to use the same spoon for my strawberries put my strawberries y'all when this sits in the refrigerator and gets cold it is so good. Even without it's even without the cake. It's delicious. You can do it in uh, individual parfait glasses. You can do it in individual um, little dessert dishes. And it makes a really pretty, a really pretty dessert. Y'all, have you ever done a stupid thing I just did. I forgot my blueberries were sitting right here and I forgot to put them on my first layer. But that's all right because you know what? I'm going to put extra ones on this layer because you're going to dip down into it anyway so your blueberries are going to fall to the bottom. And I've washed my blueberries real good. I'm just putting the extra ones on this top layer. Okay?
and I saved a few strawberries that I'm going to put on top of it. Now, now I'm going to cover this with my Cool Whip. And you put as much Cool Whip as y'all like on yours. I'm hoping this one, this container is enough. Because you can always put more on it as you spoon it up if you want to. Okay. It's, it's stretching it, but that's all right. We'll put more on it as we as we spoon it out into our little bowls. All right. Okay, now on top of this, I'm just gonna dress it up a little bit. I'm gonna put a few strawberries on it. Okay, oops, I didn't. I didn't space them out right. Now, I'm going to put a few blueberries on it. And you make it as pretty as you want to. Because it's a beautiful dessert. And it's a delicious, delicious dessert. I didn't save out quite enough strawberries to go on top. But that's alright. It's going to be just as good. Okay. Now, a quick, easy, delicious, no sugar added dessert. Great for, I'm gonna show you, the, see how you can see those layers? Isn't that pretty? <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and I'm gonna let it get really cold and Ro and I are going to eat some in a little bit. Thank y'all for joining me this morning or this afternoon. And uh, you can use fresh blue, uh, fresh strawberries if you want to. That's just some I had put uh, stevia on yesterday and put in the refrigerator. So uh, thank you for joining me. Please share this video because this is a wonderful, wonderful summer dessert. And subscribe to my channel. Hit the little notification bell. Remember, food feeds the family, family feeds the heart, God feeds the soul. And for a good, no sugar dessert, this one, this is really good. So, I love y'all. See you next time.